God says, You are my beloved. Satan will tell you that I am disgusted by you and all that you have done, but he is a liar. He came to this world to steal, kill, and destroy. I came to restore. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Remember one thing. When a thought comes, if you think more about it, you are giving yourself a chance for the thought to grow in your mind. It will later make you worried or stressed about certain things in your life. None of the loans you took out could be repaid. You couldn't work and provide for your family. You kept falling victim to this debt trap. All the negativity that was around you contributed to this severe financial crisis. Your angel assures you that you will soon be freed of them. From this point forward, you will only experience good fortune. There will be no more bad omens, only endless riches and joy. Your issues will all be resolved as soon as possible. We have complete faith in your unending love and wisdom, and we are aware that by getting rid of these things, we are making room for your blessings and light to come through in our lives. We pray that you will surround us with your heavenly angels and loving presence and ask for your protection and direction as we navigate these processes. We pray for you to cleanse any negative energy that may have been drawn by these objects and bless our houses with your holy light. God will finish all that he started in your life. The delay will be turned into a miracle for you. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Now repent of your sins and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped away. Sin is a barrier to a successful life. It gives the devil access into your life and hinders your prayers. Right now, ask God for mercy and grace, not sin again. But when you pray, you must believe and not doubt at all. Whoever doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and blown about by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Forget all your past mistakes and move forward. God loves progress. He loves growth. Every single day, reach out for something new. Keep growing. Don't dwell on past successes. Move forward. Never be afraid take steps of faith. You plotted evil against me, but God turned it into good. Say this prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, any evil against me, turn it around for my good. Any danger or shame ahead, turn it around in Jesus' name. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Your bad time is going to end by this weekend. Be ready for a new wonderful start. Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Support our community and donate us through super thanks type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.